We'll start with the Mustard R43, size 10. I'd normally do this in a 12, but I have none left. So, but a 10 will do. Uh, this is my interpretation of the Hawthorne fly. If you've ever experienced the Hawthorne hatch, uh, it's fantastic fun. Uh, so we put the tying thread on, take it back to about there. Uh, the Hawthorne fly has a tremendously hairy body. Uh, in Norwegian it's called Hawthruer, which means hair fly. Um, I'm using a capercaillie tail feather, but you can use black swan. So you need a little, cut a little strip of fibres like this. I tie them in with the uh, dull side towards you. You want the dull side out. Sorry. I'll just have to hold that. There you go. We'll just tack these in. I'll do this, just remove that point there. Okay. Move your tying thread forward to where the uh, thorax will start, the abdomen end. So we take these now, and the best way to do this is by rotating your vise. So we have to wind this up a little bit because it's going to fall as we wind. Um, the reason for rotating your vise is the best way. It keeps the fibres parallel so you get that really hairy. Uh, extended body. Go. And that will do us to there. So we'll just exchange hands with that and we'll tie that off like so. Good. We can remove that now. Excellent. Now what we want is the wing. You can, uh, for this you can use a, uh, I'm using a white CDC hackle. It has to be relatively long fibres on the hackle. I'll turn that that way you'll see better. So we just separate it. And once, twice, loose turns. And then gently pull through. There we are. And then you can tighten up, tie down the hackle before you remove the front. There we go. And then just in between the fibres. You can remove that. There's the wing. Okay, I'll just secure that. Then, and then we tie the legs in, unlike the other legs on a daddy that you tie in this way, on the Hawthorne, they're tied in this way. So we'll just tuck those in. Need to be a wee bit longer than that. That's good, that'll do us. And then the one for the other side. Like so, those are good. And you can, that one's, oh they're about the same length so that's okay. So we can just trim those off, hold them together, trim them off, like so. And we can just run these little tying thread over that, remove those two butts. Then we go back up into the wing base and we need a black ostrich hull. So we'll just Attach that there and go a little way down. Like so. 
can get rid of that now. We need uh, our hackle plier on this. Get that the right way, there we go. Just wind that thread forward a little to get it out of the way. Then we want this hairy body part that is in between the abdomen and the thorax and this peak uh, this uh, uh, ostrich hole really does make that look good there we are got that and we can go back into that and then go underneath and tie it off like so remove that then what we want is a short length of black polypropylene and that threads whipping back on me uh, yarn I'll just tack that in like that and this is going to be the wing case so we go up like so a couple of loose turns and then we can pull it through so we can just tie everything down behind the hook out like so that's good tie it into the last turns of ostrich hole there we are perfect then we need another ostrich hole but this time we're going to tie it in with the butt end because we want it from th to get thicker here and go thinner as we wind it wrap it towards the head so we tie that in there that's perfect and then we need a hackle now the hackle for this I don't want a lot so I strip one side of it and we tie this in it's a dry fly hackle just in front of the ostrich hill and then we can go forward to that then we need our hackle plier again on the ostrich hill and we'll take one wind behind the hackle and then we move in front And you see this is really creating the hairy thorax of the uh, hawthorn. And we stop just a little bit behind the hook eye. Wind back again into that. Cross over. And tie that off. good now we can remove that like so then hackle plier once again on our hackle this time and we want to make and then what we want is just to wind the hackle in palmed style forward one more turn will do it I can tie that off there Remove the hackle plier. Just remove the surplus hackle. Then we carefully 
trim off the hackle on top of the thorax. Don't take too much, that'll do us. Just so you have the same amount of a hackle each side, like that. And then we take the wing case, flatten the fibres out so they're not crossing each other. And pull this down. Don't like that one there. Really distracts me if there's one out of the way. Perhaps there's one there too. There we go. That's good. And we can pull this down over. There we go. That's good. And then I'll just. Oops. Put that in position there. A couple of turns, then I can position it. That's good. And we go back a little bit. We take our dubbing needle then and we just have to separate a little bunch of fibres out. It's too much. About half of that. This is going to be the legs. Have a look. That's good. So once you've separated that out, pull it back and a couple of turns so they sit out, sit, sit out 90 degrees from the hook shank. Then we do the same again here. Try and get a, a approximately the same amount of fibres. That's about right to guess. And we'll do that again, pull these back. Good. And then we lift everything and go underneath. Tighten up that thread. And we'll put a whip finish in there. So, and I'll just give it one more, tighten everything up. There we are. Can remove that tying thread now. So now what we want to leave is a little head on this central piece of foss. So we just clip that off like that. And then we want these to be a little longer than the hackle, the legs. So we hold them both up together. Cut them off like that. And so they're still a little longer. Look at that. And that's us done. That's the Hawthorn fly. It's a good pattern, a little bit more complicated than uh, other Hawthorne patterns, but it really does work. Good luck.